Let's balance the redox reaction for Fe2O3 plus CO. We're talking about iron 3 oxide and carbon monoxide. We'll follow these steps here. If you follow these steps, you will be successful if you're very careful. So let's first write the oxidation numbers for each element. That looks like this. So these are the oxidation numbers for each element. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video and in the description. So now we can write the half reactions for the species of interest. Those are the ones that have changed their oxidation states. That looks like this. We're not concerned about the oxygens. Really, the iron went from a plus three. Each iron atom went from plus three to the zero here. So since it went to plus three, the zero became smaller. This is our reduction half reaction. We gained an oxygen here. This is going to be oxidation. And you can see you went from plus two on the carbon to plus four. That number increased. This is our oxidation. So we have our half reactions. At this point, we can do step three. Here we're going to balance the half reactions. First, we'll balance the atoms of interest, the ones that have changed. Two irons here, just one here. Let's put a two and carbon, carbon. We're done. Now we can balance the oxygen atoms by adding water, H2O. Since I have three oxygens here, I need to add three water molecules. Now I have three oxygens on this side. They're balanced, two oxygens and one. So let's just add one water molecule. Now we have three oxygens, but the hydrogens aren't balanced. We're in acidic medium, so we can balance the hydrogen atoms by adding hydrogen ions. So let's add hydrogen ions. We have three times two, that's six. So we'll need six hydrogen ions here. And then down here, we have two hydrogens. Let's add two hydrogens over here, two hydrogen ions, and the hydrogens are balanced. The last bit is balancing the charge by adding electrons. 6 plus here. Let's add 6 electrons here. So now the charge is balanced. 2 plus, we add 2 electrons here. Charge is balanced. So this is the ion electron method for balancing redox reactions, also called the half reaction method because we're dealing with electrons in the ions here. Okay, now we can balance this overall equation, everything here for charge. And you want to think of it this way. All of these things here, these are the reactants. They're reacting to form the products. So we have reactants and products, six electrons in the reactants and only two in the products. So that's not balanced. And redox reactions really trying to balance both the atoms and the number of electrons. Here's how we fix that. If we multiplied everything here by three, we have six electrons here, three times two electrons, that gives us six electrons that would balance the electrons. We balance the charge. So now, before we simplify, we're going to multiply everything here in the brackets by three. And then we're going to take our products here. We'll put those up top. And then our reactants here, we'll put those on the bottom and we can simplify. So when we do that, this is what we end up with. At this point, we have our reactants here and our products here. Now we're going to simplify. So I can see in the reactants, I have six electrons in the products, six electrons. Those we can get rid of six hydrogen ions, six hydrogen ions, simplify that, uh, three water molecules, and then three water molecules, simplify that. And what's left, that's the balanced redox equation for Fe2O3 plus CO yields Fe plus CO2. I'll clean this up and we'll have our balanced redox reaction. So this is the balanced redox reaction. I've not written the states in, but you can figure those out. What's nice about redox is you can tell if you're correct. So I see that there's no charge on this side and no charge on this side. Everything's neutral. So I have balanced the charge. And if I count the atoms up, they're the same on both sides as well. Two irons, two irons, and then three plus three times one, six oxygens here three times two, six oxygens here. So I know I've done this correctly. If there's any difference, you've done something wrong up here. You want to go back and check your work. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for Fe2O3 plus CO, iron three oxide plus carbon monoxide. Thanks for watching.